Today we answer the age-old question, or maybe even a question we made up ourselves, of which boat is faster, the F1 Championship race boat from 1999, or the certified homemade drag racing boat from like, I don't know, like 1700s or something. We're gonna race. Are you putting your finger in my motor, man? Get your finger out of my motor. Oh my God, no, no, dude. She's gooping, dude. She's, she's gooping. Look, I'm no mechanic, but this, that's gotta be, that's gotta be a problem. Looks expensive. So first up, we've got the championship F1 race boat. Now, this boat has actually been in real races and I'm pretty sure it's won, but it's definitely been flipped. It's been sunken, it's been crashed. And thanks to uh, me and the Nautical Bros, it's been rebuilt. And while it doesn't have a giant outrageous car motor on it, it does have a massive Mercury and a design made for speed now this on the other hand is our wild card we've got our drag racing boat with a massive 454 motor i'm not gonna lie she's seen better days but when she does work she's an absolute beast remember the f1 boat has been crashed it's been wrecked it's been all that stuff but th but this boat's been fine other than the fact that well it's been in my backyard during a uh, hurricane season so some things happen well <laughs> I'm not proud to say it, but I got some bad news. We put some little caps on all the headers so water doesn't get in there. And then all I had was camouflage duct tape. So I wrapped all those and then the intake up there, I, well, I wrapped that in duct tape too. And then also you guys are gonna kill me, but all this beautiful chrome, well, it's, it's got little rust started on it there. Look, I'm not proud either. It's been stored outside. It's supposed to be in a garage. Hurricane just didn't let the whole garage thing happen. So she's been just kind of mistreated and left in the backyard. I think it's also a terrible time to tell you that this thing is actually for sale, obviously for a discounted price. <laughs> we just don't really know what else to do with it. I think we got like one or two other video ideas. So if anybody's actually interested in this, uh, now that I've shown you all of that, uh, just give me a DM. We will be polishing all the rust off of there uh, by the end of the day today. So just throwing that out there. Look, a hurricane was coming in. You know, if you're a Floridian, you understand. You just gotta make make do. I will say it doesn't look like water got in there though. I mean, we're gonna find out. <laughs> My neighbors are gonna be thrilled today. <laughs> they're gonna absolutely love this race. I'm sure they're putting their bets down on which boat's going on. They're all gonna be out there like cheering us on. If you see our neighbors on their docks like this, they're cheering us on <laughs> for sure. <laughs> all right, let's take these babies to the water. Hopefully this thing starts up. Hopefully that one starts up too. Last time Corey tried to get it to start, he well, about turned into old uh, human fruit ninja. So, let's head to the boat <laughs> ramp, get her done. Driving the F1 boat, Team F1 is gonna be yours truly, Brandon Jordan the first. 1999 F1 championship race boat, top speed of 120 plus miles an hour. However, we have gotten it up to 80 miles an hour and we're on a small body of water, so we're not gonna be touching the 100 mile an hour mark. Driving the drag boat, also known as the drag queen, is gonna be BJ, the one and only nautical bro. Drag racing boat has a top speed of unknown. We actually have no idea, but we think it's somewhere around that 80 mile an hour mark as well. So, it's gonna be a close race. Now, I just gotta do some 
warm-up laps while EJ gets the drag boat ready. Once it's ready, we warm them both up, then we start racing. Alright, let's see what the heck happens here. No more rust. Now we're pulling out the oil, getting it in there. back day two well it, actually it's like day eight we had to do some repairs obviously uh drag boat got some upgrades f1 boat got some upgrades so much so that now the race that we were doing before is now a completely new race because both mo boats have been modified to, well not for speed but to run so <laughs> we have messed with some things th th we have messed with some things so first of all uh, different lake we, we picked a place with more more shoreline so we're not all crammed in the same boat ramp so same thing jet boat jet ski f1 boat drag boat that's going to be the race a little bit smaller lake because the wind today so drag boat is made for quick speed in a straight line it literally is a flat bottom it cannot turn worth nothing so the short lake even became shorter because we had to put a our second buoy our finish line buoy damn near in the middle of the lake because if BJ can't slow down he's gonna well drive into the yellow shoreline we don't want that so uh, F1 is made for speed it's also made for turns made for going 90 miles an hour in a 90 degree turn so that's the deal with both boats all right first modification <laughs> we got the old insta 360s on both so we're gonna have 360 degree view on both of those for your viewing pleasure then next up we put the old blower on the big girl uh, we actually didn't even have time to put the flappers in but don't you worry that means she's gonna get full air all the time and there's an air filter in there for all of you guys who are like oh my god watch out for the bugs it's gonna blow your engine up it's gonna blow your engine up it won't at least not today uh, also we went from 4 to 12 psi in the fuel on that we put a had a me mechanical fuel pump we put a regular fuel pump in there now it's regulated at what nine six six psi which is a lot different so hopefully she's not flooding out that was a big problem also f1 boat got a little bit of upgrades back here she was running nine psi she's now going to be running six psi so remember in the turns where i was like man i keep freaking bogging down i can't figure it out i want to be a race car driver one day <laughs> but right now i suck it's not because of the trim like we thought we were flooding the engine in the turn so we fixed that we fixed the drag so hopefully both boats will run they'll be happy and they'll be freaking fast this is going to be the first race to figure out which one's the quickest unfortunately in a short lake if we went on the big lake this boat will do 100 miles an hour but i'm going to get wind and waves under it and probably turn into a kite and do a backflip i don't want to do a backflip and then well bj could get sent spacex style because that boat does not handle waves so with that being said we're gonna get in the cockpit. We're gonna give her a run. Once the motors are on, they are not turning off. I think we're gonna do three or four big runs and then uh, we might just have some fun. I do wanna get in the drag boat at some point today because I wanna feel those bald eagles screaming right behind my eardrums. Alrighty, closed up, good. All right, get it, fuel, let's go.
is no bueno. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we had one race and uh <laughs> She's done, son. Motor just uh, cooked itself. One more time. She's done, son. That's it. Motor's cooked. Wait, you blew it up? Of course I blew it up, but I blew it right out the bottom end. Oh my god. Alright, Trav, go ahead and get over there. Forget the drone. I had him too, like. It was wanting to go, and then... Uh, yeah, I don't have everything in a second truck, it's not even... It's not locked in to the count for some reason, so it's not even letting me go more than like 10 feet away from me. I've got a BP oil spill inside of the thing. But it looks like this thing, uh, pretty much what we'd call shit the bed. Literally. Um... Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's not good. That's... That's not good at all. Uh, and I actually thought I had a chance of beating them because it ran pretty good. All right, so here's kind of the deal. Let me open this up. Here's kind of the deal. The Apple or the drag race boat completely blew up. So we were doing a quick practice lap just to kind of feel out the course. And they said it's toast, it's done. So uh, we're gonna at least get one lap in, see what kind of speed we can get and uh, then we're gonna go into shore and see what happens. So this boat only has a little bit of fuel anyway. It's not good when this fuel sits. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit a good lap. We got Travis at the finish line. White buoy is the start buoy. Orange buoy is the finish line. We're gonna try to get like at least 70 miles an hour here. If it was a little bit longer, we'd probably be in the 80s and 90s, but we're gonna give her a rip and uh, looks like Corey's towing in BJ right now. Absolutely sucks, man, but Oh, that's not that's not gonna feel good on the pockets at all. Alright, I think Travis set up, so we're gonna get started here. Goodness gracious. I need a tow back, Mr. Cito. We've done all the work we could possibly do to get this thing running. We know this boat had some issues from the get-go. Now it definitely has some issues. Oh. Luckily, the oil is not going out in the water in the lake or nothing like that. It is all contained right here inside the boat. But, ladies and gentlemen, hey Brandon, that's all the like racing we got out of this. Water into the engine because it sent milk out. She felt so good too, bro. I'm pretty sure the bottom of uh, the bottom of that block has a nice hole in it. Or yeah. out the side. Uh, actually, yeah, it looks out the side. Made it back. Now we got to figure out what we're gonna have to do from here. But uh, we tried. We tried. dude well uh good news bad news good news is the work that was done on this boat fantastic <laughs> sounds like the work that was done on that boat detrimental so i uh i guess all we can do is uh assess the damages there yeah. dj not good huh <laughs> it ain't good at all bro yeah. Remember was. how Josh said, uh, you know, we're going to have to tear this thing down and check it out because you got blow by low compression. Yeah, yeah. Well, she blow high by. compressioned out the bottom. She, oh, so she had a little. Send a bearing through the block. No, yeah. the yeah. block is done. I think she's It's done toast. Right. Actually, I think it's just, uh, I'm not, I'm not. That's sure. the one thing that we thought we were going to be able to save is the block and just rebuild everything else. I mean, don't get me wrong. She looks shiny. She looks badass, but apparently. I, a, I looked back and I had a BP oil. Oh, so. oh, I don't like the color of that. Oh my God, that's not good, brother. All right, well. Oh. Oh no, what oh. you got? Can you 
Hey, uh, are you putting your finger in my motor, man? Get your finger out of my motor. Oh my God, no, no, dude. She's gooping, dude. She's, she's gooping. There's a hole. No, brother. No, she's juicing. She's freaking, she's, uh, she's freaking gooping big time. Also, I don't know if you guys can see this, but well, I know what's wrong with it. <laughs> it ain't got no fluids in it, but God, dog, because they're all on the bottom of the boat. This is as bad as it gets. So we just literally blew the block out. <laughs> Dang, son, she didn't even have a chance. <laughs> she never had a chance against that one boat. That's that's water mixed in there, so I'm pretty sure it is a head gasket. But... Yeah. I don't know. It had issues before. <laughs> well, it's definitely got issues now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it looks cool. <laughs> Make sure you guys drop a like on this video and uh, I don't know, share it to a friend because financially now we're looking at a whole new motor. Uh, LS blueprint. Dude, we got we we've got like uh, like trolling motor budget right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got a trolling motor budget with the broke big motor problems. Nobody's buying this boat now. Oh, yeah. I did say this boat was for sale earlier in the video, so it's heavily discounted. <laughs> heavily, heavily discounted. We can find something. Yeah, we can. Let's just plug it. <laughs> let's just plug it. I can drill that out, put two boat plugs in. God, we'll be dude. good to go. That was unexpected. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm freaking let down, dude. The F1, she's ripping. She's better and faster than she's ever been. The drag boat, the nautical bros were telling me she was freaking getting after it. Just full of power. Corey said as soon as he took it off the trailer and hit a little bit of gas, she, boom, like a big jump. BJ said she was firing off. She was ready to go. And, uh, you know, when we were sitting down there just like looking at all the oil and everything, he was like, you know, it really freaking sucks because. I really wanted to race and figure out which one was gonna win. I did too. I truly believe that the drag boats in a short distance could beat the F1. We haven't even stretched the F1's legs yet. The boat will go over 100 miles an hour easy. This boat, I think she's sitting in the 80s for sure. So I don't know, a little disappointed the fact that we didn't get a race, a lot disappointed that we completely blew up the motor. And uh, I've never even blown up a motor before. And technically I still haven't because well, DJ blew it up. <laughs> so here's the deal, man. We freaking finally got this thing looking right. We polished her up. We got her just so sexy. We got the scoop on there. This is just pure American muscle. And it's cool to have it as a part of the collection. We weren't sure what we were gonna do with this boat after like a couple races when we were talking about selling it. But I love it. I think it's freaking cool. But it's up to you. If you guys like the boat and you wanna see it rebuilt, you wanna see a new motor in it, juice to the gills and, and run it back, then uh, you gotta let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, man. We're freaking, we didn't account for this in our budget. We, we're currently putting a twin turbo V8 in the Coast Guard diesel and it's gonna be disgusting. That's costing money. This is costing money. We weren't expecting to be replacing another motor. So if you guys want to see it, we will do it. If you don't, we'll save the budget and go on to something else. But ultimately it comes down to you guys. I make fishing videos, treasure videos, pond hopping videos, racing videos, all types of videos. If you want to see the drag boat, a part of it in the future, let me know. If not, we'll freaking throw her on the old marketplace and let someone else give her a rip. With that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. We got to well, we got to call the hazmat team and freaking get that thing cleaned up. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, until the next adventure, uh, I think houseboat videos are coming next. So hope you guys will enjoy that. With that being said, that's going to wrap it up. Love you all. And uh, <clears throat> we'll see you at the junkyard. <laughs> all right, see you guys. The only thing fast about this boat is how fast it ends up on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> oh. It looks so cool, dude. It looks so cool. We're gonna have a link down below on Facebook Marketplace for a really big odd-shaped smoothie maker. It does blend really good smoothies. Check this out. We've got a nice slurry right there. You can uh, make whatever you want. You can chop up apples. You can make apple juice with it, orange juice. It's all organic. And uh, it'll be linked below. <laughs>
Oh god, this is an expensive smoothie. Oh, that's chunky. Nice. <laughs>